Oh, we, that was the other food place, the uh, little burger stand. That was the other. I've said about yes. that, but it was that burger stand, the El Beso restaurant, and then the Privileged restaurant, and then all the restaurants. And the burger, the, strip. the burger little joint was cool because yeah. it stayed open the latest. Yep. Um, which I appreciated. Like it was open till five thirty. Yeah. And then restaurants, dinner restaurants, sorry, at six. six. Exactly. So that was a good offering because again, usually during the day, it's a challenge to try to find. Yeah. Food after certain hours that's that time where the looking start hitting like you're like i need you've been drinking all day it's like four to five is like oh no like i need to eat something right now hey y'all hey welcome to another episode of travel fly sexy, sexy. I'm your co-host, Natasha Terrell, owner of Travel Goddess International. And I am your co-host, Sincerely Jasmine, owner of Boss Babes Up Brunch. Period. This episode is probably the one y'all been waiting for. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, but we're finally doing the deep dive on Ocean El Faro. Yes. In the DR. Exactly. Our Punta Cana experience. Our Punta Cana experience. And experience, it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Start to finish, for yep, real. Yeah. Um, so if you were following our stories, then you already know that we stayed with Ocean El Faro um, in, what is that, the Punta Cana area of mm-hmm. Dominican Republic, and we did a time. We had a time. We ha- went with the T- TGI girls, and it was an experience. Yeah, good time. But before we give you the full tea, we're going to do Goddess Mail, yeah. but we're going to do Goddess Mail differently today because- Bear with me. <laughs> it's actually the start. <laughs> Of the Punta Cana experience. Exactly. But it's got a smell because uh, there's a lot of stuff y'all need to know. A lot of tea. A lot, <laughs> a lot of tea. tea. This episode's full of tea. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Before we get to Ocean El Faro, we have to get to Ocean El Faro. Right. So, this week's got a <laughs> smell is uh, TGI's experience arriving into PUJ, which is Punta Cana's airport. Um, so, it was a group of... I thought it was like five of us. Six? Five. Oh, six if you count your cousin. Yeah. Six in total. Um, so we we had all different flights. Mm-hmm. So I flew Frontier, of course, you know, my faves. Um, <laughs> which unfortunately did have a layover, um, which I usually tend to avoid. But I was finding that getting to Punta Cana that day, mm-hmm. most of them had layovers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, except for this one American flight. Um so there was a layover in Orlando, um, early morning flight from Philly to Orlando, quick layover, Orlando, Punta Cana, still like maybe over an hour of the total t- travel time. Mm-hmm. So nothing extreme. Did not go as planned, guys. Um, what time was the departure from Philly? 530 Ooh. in the morning. So hardly slept. So let's start there. Um, <laughs> 530 in the morning, you know, you got to arrive to the airport with respectable time. Um, I'm also traveling with my cousin say, who does oh, he not left have... me. He he left me. He went to the airport. We went to the airport separately. Oh, times. okay. Um, because I was like, I'm not going there early, babe. <laughs> so I'm going with my cousin. Um, again, we're meeting up with the TGI fam. Um, so many of us had different flights. Him and I on this frontier flight, a few of the ladies were on a spirit flight, which mm-hmm. was very, very similar to um, the flight that I was on, maybe like a, it left like an hour later yeah, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but with the similar layover time, um, well, similar leaving time, departing time out of Orlando. Um, all that to say, our morning flight was delayed. Mm-hmm. We did not leave at 530. Um, we was delayed for, I would say, maybe over an hour um, due to... Uh, Lies. Yeah. They, 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 like, I look, I'm like, um, right, because they aircraft right, maintenance. Like, um, <laughs> I just that first flight. That's when I'm like starting. To, I've reevaluated my complete, men, like everything, my travel mentality completely changed after this trip. <laughs> I'm like, that first flight is not good mm. because they are not ready. <laughs> it's so much to it though, because sometimes they are not ready. It is good because they are ready and you get out with morning. no hiccups. But in the, there are cases where it wasn't ready. This aircraft was sitting mm-hmm. for whatever reason whatever it was sitting for the night. last night. Mm-hmm. 
it didn't go well last night. It did not end well. And this morning shift is not starting. Yeah. So that's tricky. Yeah. So we were delayed. Um, All in all, we missed our flight. Um, The connection. And it's crazy because we all missed our flight. Um, Yeah. The spirit flight was also delayed. The spirit flight was also delayed. And we... Both of our planes sat on the strip because at this point, coming into MCO, I never knew how chaotic it was, but it's freaking chaotic. <laughs> so for the planes to get in, it you have to wait longer times because the airport's so chaotic. So they're trying to get you to a gate, and mm-hmm. it, it that's it took, vacant. Mm-hmm. It took so much more time um, to even get connected to the airport um by the time we got off the plane. They're like, "Oh, we have people on here. They're trying to make connection flights. Please let them go." Blah blah blah. We got to the flight um, to the door mm-hmm. at 10.04, and the door closed at 10 o'clock. Mind you, it's about Dang. half the flight with us. <laughs> like, half the flights with us. We're all, like, on vacation. It's like a, a family of maybe, like, eight. Wow. Um, There's a, a veteran and his wife. He's like, mm. I'm a disabled veteran. Like, help. Mm. Like, what the heck? Mm. Um, Him and his wife, me and my cousin, and then, like, a family of eight and, like, maybe a few other people. It was definitely a large group of us. Like, the plane was not full. Yeah. Uh-huh. Y'all can wait. But, again, as a travel agent and as a person who flies frequently, like, I understand the standards of, you know, there's process in place. Like, mm-hmm. we have to do a count. We have to do, you know, there's so many things. Mm-hmm. The door is closed. Got it. Yeah. Am I happy about it? No, but completely understandable. Yeah. Just get us on the next flight. There's no next flight. Okay. Right. Um, so that's when it, gets, that's when it got, it got weird. Like, okay. Pulled out my phone. I'm looking and I'm like, there was not any options to get us to Punta Cana that day. Like none. Yeah. And with no airline. Um, same thing again was happening to the young ladies that were flying Spirit. Yep. They were going through the same thing. But fortunately enough, Spirit was able to rebook them mm-hmm. immediately for the next day, got them placed into a hotel. All of that stuff was automated via email. Mm-hmm. So they didn't have to go to um, any uh, customer service agents or anything. Team so, Big Bird, you know. Super smooth <laughs> for the Spirit girls. Yeah, man. Love that for them. To clarify, I was in a group text getting all of these updates because I would have normally been on that spirit flight, but I was coming from Miami. Mm-hmm. So I was on an American flight that left Miami Thanks at eight 30 mm-hmm. and I got there and it was what it was. But I was just like, by the oh time my, she landed, she like, I was like, Oh my gosh, what is happening out of PHL? Mind you, we are like, we're travel experts. Like <laughs> we are the girlies that plan the trips. Like mm-hmm. we do this. So I'm like, hold up. No. But it's such no because way. I know next flight me or whatever. Like, we're gonna get around. This. You're like, it's I fine. know the rules here. Like, what's I got up? this. It's but no if worries. there is no flight. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we got this. We're gonna be in Punta Cana today, babe. <laughs> Absolutely not. I felt terrible because it's my cousin's birthday. Mm-hmm. So I'm like cutting into his vacation. I'm like, this never happened before. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> friend, this never happens. This never happens. Um, so then we have to stand in line with Frontier. Again, ugh, Frontier. I don't know this year. I don't know. I don't know this year. <laughs> I don't know. You might have to make it up to me. I don't know. <laughs> um, but we were standing in line to see a rep, and they was not trying to. They was not trying to give me a hotel. I said, "Miss, I'm entitled to a hotel." You guys, me. guys, please know your rights. Go back to the go episode. back to the episode of knowing your about, rights. Yes, because you were entitled. She tried me. She's like. You we'll send you a voucher, you know, a food voucher, and we'll rebook you for tomorrow. And I was like, okay, um, you also need to put me up tonight. Like, mm-hmm. what, what are our other options? Or if you want to book with a different airline, we can do that. Like, whatever mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. best option is, let's get it done. So then she like looks at her supervisor, and her supervisor's like, "What you want a refund?" And I said, "Lady, I never said that. I want a place to stay because I have to be here in Orlando for a whole night." So now I have to turn into, you know, customer service Karen. And I'm just like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm a travel agent. And I, I know my rights. And I'm like, I don't want to. I understand it's a lot of chaos right now. You're dealing with mm-hmm. like a, a bunch of people dealing with this right now. You have to put us in a room. Yeah. She looked at it, that lady and she was like, give her the send her a room. <laughs> <laughs> And she's like, it'll come to your email. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, hopefully everybody behind me heard that. Cause what? Um, but, but they was then not we, trying to give up the room. But they gave me twenty dollars between two of us. They gave us a twenty dollar food voucher. Twenty dollars a piece. Twenty dollars together. 
<laughs> which I spent on an alcoholic beverage because I am frustrated. <laughs> So Frontier, why are y'all uh, doing this? I'm not. I'm not messing with y'all. Spirit I'm, would never. I'm telling you, especially when it go international, baby. I am not messing with y'all because I don't got time. That's anything to do. So we got the hotel. We stayed the night in Orlando. We got to Punta Cana the next day. Let's dive into Ocean Elf Yo. I'm stressed already. I'm stressed already. <laughs> My poor girls, they arrived like, whoo, mamas. <laughs> Never experienced that. But I mean, it's great to be able to sell, tell a story and, again, know your rights. Go back and listen to the episode and know when these type of things happen. Mm -hmm. And if they're, you know, on the airline, get with your old. Yes. Um, but it just was crazy to literally be there four minutes after the door closed. I like, know. Oh, this is not. Yeah, and we'll make sure to drop the, the link for the customer service dashboard in the show notes yes. because that is literally a website where you can view all the different types of in instances that can occur mm -hmm. with an airline as an inconvenience, a, a delay or cancellation, all the different domestic airlines, and all the different things that you would be entitled to exactly. based on that type of delay or cancellation. So please make sure you got that information because like Jasmine said, if you don't know, they probably not going to give it to you. They're going to try If you. they weird like Frontier. Because the spirit girlies, they had their confirmation in the email before they landed. They didn't even have to say a word. Okay. <laughs> they Love had their it. hotel, they Love vouchers, it. they everything. She was like, you want to stay in one of our rooms? They gave them two rooms. I said, yes. <laughs> spirit, you might have won me over. Just from this inconvenience. Like, not y'all got a fan from an inconvenience. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you. Yeah. Team Big Bird. Hey, y'all. Nevertheless, it's your girls of Travel Fly Sexy. Before we jump into today's episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube and listen wherever you get your podcasts. And make sure that you're following us on Instagram and TikTok at Travel Fly Sexy. And of course, if you have a product or service that you'd like to see featured on an upcoming episode of Travel Fly Sexy, shoot us an email at info at travelflysexy.com. Now let's get back into the episode. Yeah. Nevertheless, Ocean El Faro, yes. which is where we they were trying to get to. Finally got there. We now got let's there. It. Let's get into <laughs> it. Um, so this is an all-inclusive resort mm -hmm. in the Punta Cana area of the DR. Um, it is under the Ocean H10 Hotels brand, um, which we mentioned the Ocean Properties in Jamaica that we stayed at early for spring of 2023 also fabulous. So we wanted to check these Punta Cana places out yeah. and did. Um, the cool thing about this property is it also has an adults only side, which is the Ocean El Beso. Yeah. Um, so if you are interested in kind of coming, but maybe now wanting to see all the kids at all the times, <laughs> um, that's an option. But we'll talk a little bit about it later because I'm like, uh, depends. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll get it. Yes. So first things first, check in. Yeah. And I always like to start with check in when it's elevated because I think that that's important to mention. Yeah. So you already know we tell you all the time, if you can upgrade for the privilege or the yeah. diamond or whatever the category is listed at, at the hotel. Because that VIP status. It really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way to start the vacation. It is. Yeah. And I mean, throughout. Through that's through. true. Yeah, that's true. But like, you know, I because it was a um a work trip, you know, our our TGI's training and development coordinator, she planned everything for us. So we just show up and give our names. I didn't know what room type I had. Yeah. So right. I just go to the right. Surprise. The right. I go well, to the regular desk. And I knew because Tosh was there already. So I saw that she had privilege. Right. And I was like, maybe we got privilege too. Because yeah. she checked in yesterday. <laughs> the whole day so prior. We had that heads up. <laughs> but I didn't know. And so I just went to the regular desk, like checking in. And they were like, oh, no, no. We got to escort you mm -hmm. to the privilege area for check in where you are seated, greeted with champagne. And you get to enjoy a nice cold towel and the whole experience. Yeah. So that's check-in. And I prefer that. <laughs> Absolutely. Because, like, is it vacation without the welcome drink? And I noticed with the regular um, check-in, I don't think they got no champagne. <laughs> they be coming with some type of little mixed drink yeah. or a little cocktail or sometimes not even anything with alcohol, just mm -hmm. a refreshing mm -hmm. beverage. <laughs> so it was nice to get a fresh poured uh, glass of champagne and that cool towel. Yes. And a seated experience because, you know, coming off the travel and straight off the transfer, you're like, 
just give me in my room. Yeah. Um, so that check-in experience tends to be a little hasty when you're just standing and like looking at them, click away, yes. like hurry up so I can go. Yes. So if you could sit down and, you know, connect to the Wi-Fi and pace yourself, it, it's much more enjoyable. Absolutely. And that, speaking of the Wi-Fi as well, this particular property was the first time that I'd seen a Wi-Fi specifically for privilege. Yep. So, and he said, he's like, here, let me give you the password for this one because it's faster and it's less bogged down mm -hmm. than exactly. the main Wi-Fi. So that's and another was, great perk. I was like, oh, that's, oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's a great perk because the Wi-Fi be wi fi -ing. Yeah, I mean, all over the resort. The I know. Especially when so. these resorts with thousands of people. Literally. So, yeah. yeah. So the check-in process was fantastic here. Yeah. I definitely will give that all stars. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I suggest Go Privilege so you can get that full experience. Mm -hmm. um, next, we'll get into the accommodations, Absolutely. the actual resort itself. So this particular resort is 904 rooms? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. And like, when you're walking it, yes, it does feel huge. The walk from the lobby to... The beach. Yeah. <laughs> if you it's told me it was a mile, way. I'd believe you. <laughs> yeah. We was walking. <laughs> they do have the golf carts that will take you all around yep. the property where you need to go. And if you have privilege, then you also will be assigned a butler. Exactly. So you can text your butler when you would like the golf cart and where you'd like it to meet you. Again, another perk of the privilege. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, 900 and something rooms. But these rooms are fabulous. Huge. Now, I will give them that. Like. Yeah. The rooms, they're modern, they're spacious. Mm -hmm. Jasmine had a corner room. It added like so many more square so feet. So she, had, <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I had a junior suite. We, she had a junior suite, but it was a corner, corner room. That, it added so many Huge. more Huge. I'm like, y'all sure this is the standard room? Like, yeah. This is the standard. And each bathroom had a bathtub and a shower, mm -hmm. which I thought was so nice mm -hmm. if you want to enjoy the bathtub, but you also have your shower option. Um, Obviously, you know, the little private bathroom toilet which is separate from mm -hmm. you know, the um, bathroom itself um but yeah the jun the standard junior suite it's huge was huge it's huge yeah. yep and of course you know privilege you get your robe you get your slippers yeah. you get um a welcome bottle of wine mm -hmm. upon your arrival um these are all standard things with the privilege so a nice little welcome treat yes i highly recommend it but yeah the rooms all have huge balconies on the balconies are hammocks mm -hmm. and seating areas because there's so much space on the balcony um and of course you know you have an ocean view you could have a pool view you could have a garden view um but yeah spacious accommodations yeah, those rooms were and we were in the standard category but yeah. we got to see some of the upper categories King size bed i believe pull out couch mm -hmm. in each one yeah. mm -hmm. um desk space mini fridge that was stocked every every day with mm -hmm. refreshments and uh, the mini bottles got the good bottles yes mm -hmm. at the bacardi mm -hmm. <laughs> had to drink that on my way out because my flight was delayed again oh but... my gosh <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Frontier was really playing with the girl. Yeah. Um, also, we were uh, interested to know that there, even though the El Faro is a family resort, mm -hmm. they also had like an area of the resort where they had more of the family rooms. And they specifically referred to them as daisy rooms. Yes. Um, and the rooms themselves were the same type of uh, room. However, they had additional amenities in those rooms. Mm -hmm. For the kids. Uh, so we saw like rubber duckies for the to shower and just mm -hmm. cool little things. I was like, oh, that's neat. Yeah, cute little add-ons. And I believe their area is like, you know, more of a family area. So if yes. you have the daisy room, you will be in that area specifically with other families. With other families and they will notice from the reservation, like if, you, if there are kids, if it's not. So if you don't have kids, you will likely, you might not be in the adults only side, but you will probably be around more adults yeah which is which is nice yeah. you know and like they technically don't have to do that no they like, don't you signed up for the resort that has family mm -hmm. so very considerate very though. considerate so i thought that that was neat as well speaking of this adults only side before we jump in let, let's let's get into that yeah because i had mixed feelings on it yeah so you know it it's connected so there's not anything that's really separating if you will other than a pathway and yeah. that's fine but when we went over there, I think I might have saw maybe one particular restaurant and then 
a, a, a kind of like a bar mm-hmm. situation like in the a middle. Beach area that was a. Uh... Now I will say the beach over there was significantly better. Oh yeah, significantly better and significantly more scenic. Mm-hmm. And it's the same beach, but however they got it over there. Yeah, they literally are on <laughs> that side of the beach. Yeah, um, it looks great. But to your point, I mean. I do think the value of the privilege kind of gives you that same experience. Right. Um, so I Because you have access when you are privileged really, to the Bezos side. Exactly. And you also have a, a privileged specific area on the beach as well. And you have those privileged restaurants mm-hmm. that, you know, aren't necessarily included in El... Oh, well, I'm not sure. They may be included in El Beso as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, if you have privilege. But maybe. yeah, I'm just thinking um, those privileged options matched it up the, and also they were far the El Beso buildings were like their <laughs> farthest buildings so I mean you're secluded but if you're trying to get to the buffet for breakfast yeah you are you, you got a whole way to go I'll turn into two yes it's a ways because that's yeah. the other thing you you're pretty much you know they had that one designated restaurant and a, and a bar mm-hmm. but everything else you want to do is pretty much on, on the, the El Beso side. side all yeah. the activities everything um so, you know, think about it. It's not, it didn't, it wasn't a significant difference of experience, I'll say. Yeah. But if you're looking more for R&R and that, and you are going to book one of the gorgeous room types that they have, because they really have some oh, amazing yeah. rooms, amazing rooms, um, and you're going to spend time in the room and just chilling, then I think it's a good offer. Yeah. But if you want to be in the mix, just book the family side. Yeah. And- get privileged exactly <laughs> especially if you're not you, i mean if you're looking for adults only you probably don't have a kid so you will probably be placed in an area like us where mm-hmm. you're around mostly adults mm-hmm. um so yeah um but another thing before we move on from accommodations the room types you mentioned the mm-hmm. swim out rooms were so gorgeous yeah yeah like the spacious, master suite oh my gosh like huge um so good yeah those were great it's funny because as soon as we returned i had a client going and i'm like well i'm happy i got to get the full experience before sending her mm-hmm. but i trust ocean um anyway yeah. um and she had to swim out room and i'm just like stalking her story like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i love it yeah but i will say um on the el beso side they had the ocean front rooms yeah those were yeah gorgeous. so like you literally walk out of your room onto the beach mm-hmm. um and i think they have the, they had those on the el beso or on the el faro side as well but i don't know if you could walk directly out on the beach like that. Yeah, I think because the El Beso like is closer to the beach. Yeah. Like you said, you just walk right out and yeah. you're like seeing it. Like stunning. Seeing it. Stunning. Yeah. Stunning room types. So upgrade your rooms, upgrade yourself because you're going to get the experience you're looking for, for sure. with that. Um, I Before we jump into food and beverage, you want to talk about activities? Yeah. Because there were a lot of a things lot to, of do to do here. Do a lot. Um, a theater... A bowling alley. Whole bowling alley. A virtual reality reality space. Like games. Like multiple virtual reality games. Lazy River, which, you know, Ocean H10 is known for um, a good lazy river on property, Mm -hmm. a water park, Mm -hmm. um, which they're also known for a cute little water park on property. (laughs) Um, But yeah, they had a ton of water activities that you could actually do on property. They had archery. They had basketball. They had golf. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the most activities I've seen on property like ever because with the archery and all of that stuff on top of you know those um activities and like the agendas that change and during the day. every day you know from the evening entertainment to like the water aerobics exactly. and those sort of things so it has those basics with all of these add-ons i know it's like it's lit yeah obviously karaoke available yep. you know, i love some karaoke <laughs> um and shows in the theater every night but yeah plenty plenty to do yeah plenty to do especially again if you bring in the family Plenty to do. Yeah. Um, and the bowling alley, just a pro tip. They said, make sure you bring your own socks. They, <laughs> they got, the got socks for you. You need to bring your socks. Bring your socks. Um, which <laughs> is a great point because usually on vacation, you like socks. I know. Like, uh-huh. That's why, why it stuck with me because I'm like, I I don't I'm like, have the socks. socks I have is for the airport. I didn't yes, bring my socks airport for, socks yeah. in my bag. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the activities were great. A lot to do. Um, also, I like that they have that like, boulevard of the restaurants and mm-hmm. stuff so it's like all of your options are like right at your hand so if you're like i didn't enjoy that want to pop into mm-hmm. the steakhouse or you know let's let's try three restaurants tonight yeah <laughs> you have all of that at your expense perfect way to segue into the food and beverage yes. experience there um and and to the point about the convenience of the locations on yes. the res- restaurants there are 
I think there were like seven restaurants. I think it might be more. Um, but some of them require reservations and some of them don't. Exactly. So to Jasmine's point, you know, you can select a reservation only option. And if it's not given what it's supposed to give, you can just pop over to one of the ones that doesn't. Right. Um, so you do have that flexibility because usually when you go to resorts, you got to book Limited, a reservation. Yeah. And, and if you're arriving that day and you arrive after the In cutoff the, time, mm-hmm. all the now you got to go to the you got to go to Exactly. Rude, yeah. first of all. Because I... Who Been said there. I wanted the buffet? Like, <laughs> Been there, done that. Um, and that is a thing there, too. So, and they didn't tell me this. We learned this when we were in the tour. So I thought it was important to say, which is like, number one, ask them, mm-hmm. where can I go that doesn't require a reservation? Yep. Because they didn't tell me that. Yeah. I thought all Everybody. the restaurants required a reservation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they didn't mention that at check-in. And I was pleasantly surprised to find there are some a that don't. That didn't. Yeah. So you have those options. I think, like you mentioned, it was seven, like, different theme restaurants and then they have that privileged restaurant mm-hmm. on the beach um, which is on the beach gorgeous location like yeah, the you're location is out great. into the beach so nice um and then i think there was another buffet and then the el beso restaurant mm-hmm. yeah um the privilege before, before, we'll jump back to the restaurants but the privilege um restaurant i just want to mention also has a privilege bar. Mm-hmm. So even if the restaurant is technically quote unquote closed mm-hmm. because they have like just little pockets of time, like hours and a half during close, the day yeah. where they close to just kind of reset and change it over for the next um, course or dining times, the bar is always available. Yes. And that bar is one of the few bars that has the premium alcohol mm-hmm. that is included with your privilege stay. Yeah, I think it's just that bar and, and the lobby bar. bar. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the only place I can get my Don Julio breakfast. Don off. Julio is that. <laughs> okay. That's all I wanted. Looking for that Don Julio. Don Julio Reposat. You gotta walk towards the beach. It's worth the walk. It is worth the walk, though. <laughs> oh, that was the other food place, the uh little burger stand. That was the other I've set up yes. that, but it was that burger stand, the El Beso restaurant, and then the privileged restaurant, and then all of the restaurants. And the burger the, strip. the burger little joint was cool because yeah. It stayed open the latest, yep. Um, which I appreciated. Like it was open till five thirty, yeah. And then restaurants, dinner restaurants started open at, at six. six. Exactly. So that was a good offering because again, usually during the day, it's a challenge to try to find yeah food after certain hours. And that's that time where the liquor start hitting. Like you're honestly, like I need if you've been drinking all day. It's like four to five. Is like oh no, like <laughs> I need to eat something right now. <laughs> Um, it's not going down like they this. They also have Mike's Coffee, mm-hmm. which has pastries, pastries and, and sandwiches and drinks um, pretty much all day, I think. Yeah, and it's Once like, they open until like maybe like 10 p.m.? Yeah, till 10. Um, so, yeah, the food and drinks were doing the thing. Yeah. Now, I will say, wasn't my favorite food resort experience. Yeah. There was room for growth. I agree. I'm just going to keep it on it. I'm going to just tell y'all to just go, 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 go. Yeah. But I think the overall experience made up for that. I completely agree. And I also think that the dinner experiences were much better than the buffet and the food experiences during the day. Yeah, those lunch um, daytime experiences. Um, I also love that there were options. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's like, you know, if you're not filling a buffet, you could go get room service or you could, you know, stop into the cafe and just get like a small snack or something. Um, So I do did enjoy the options where I feel like at other resorts, you're a little bit limited in the options might not be that good. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm like, at least we had five to six things to choose from. Yeah. Day rotated. Yeah. That's Um, a good point. So, yeah. (laughs) Um, Now, let me just say this. We went outside finally, y'all. We was outside. We're going to come back to the resort, but we went outside. Outside, outside. After 10 p.m., guys. I was so (laughs) proud of them. I was like, because I had to do it. (laughs) <laughs> usually when I go out is when I have to like it's like a special occasion it's like I have to do this. yes um my cousin had already booked a section child so we was going whether they was going or not like, so I'm like I gotta go y'all um but if we could stay up and go to the mm-hmm. bar and drink and y'all want to go too and they did <laughs> I said okay girls Listen, I'm going to tell you why, mostly because at that point, they only have 48 hours left. They had to make the most of the trip. So it's like, all right, we going outside. We better go outside. The reason that I was able to make it is because I had already had my good night's (laughs) rest rest. the night before (laughs) because I did arrive on time. Yes. 
I had a whole day to so, chill. Exactly. So that's how I had my energy mm-hmm. because I don't know if I would have made it if it was a travel day for your girl. Facts. But they did it. In a travel day at that, I was that's like, after, yeah, it, we, we did it. Proud of us. Um, What was the club called? Infinity. 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 It was good. It was a good. I would recommend it. It was a great vibe. Um, Don't go at 10 o'clock. Don't go early like us because, again, we grandmom so we was like all right let's go now um and it's funny I think because we still was like, yeah because I was trying to get there at 10 I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and I was like all right 10 30 so by the time we got from the resort to um the club it was maybe like a 20 minute ride mm-hmm. um it was around 10 30 we was the first people there um <laughs> they were still saying that DR don't start till midnight yes <laughs> because legit by 11 30 11 45 it was lit like lit all but the sections we, was filled. People walk, and I'm just like, "Wow!" We literally watched this thing happen. Yes, we did because <laughs> there was nobody in there. Yeah, but um, the DJ was great though. The DJ the, the vibes going were great. Like they were telling us, like, "Stay put. Like it's going to be fun." Like, yes, you know? and they they <laughs> made sure we were well taken care of. They did. Um, they did. And we had a blast. We did. Um, we had a great time. It was a good time. We got our hookah, yep, got our bottles, bottles, and. We was vibing. It, it was, was a club. Time. It was really a good vibe. I was like, look at us outside. Yes. We, had go. we don't go outside. We no. can't tell you what to do after 10 o'clock. We had to go outside. <laughs> this Girl, I was stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But it was so much fun. Yeah, it, it ended was up so being a much fun. Great trip, despite the you know, the frontier playing in your yeah. face. <laughs> it was just crazy because all of us, like half of the not fact even that it was spirit made and it here, frontier. Not even half of us made it. No, there. just two of us made it. Two, two of them us. made it there, and then it was just like majority of us just in Orlando. What are we doing? Here? Yeah, but we made it, and the trip ended up being amazing. The resort was awesome. Um. My, I'm jumping ahead, but one of my favorite things about just the aesthetics of ocean, not my favorite thing, but Mm -hmm. it's those, you walk in and it's these super, super high, like it's so open. And and we talked about space and space in the the rooms, but like the resort is just so spacious Mm -hmm. that it's like, even if you don't make it to the club or, you know, make it to an excursion, you are like, you have so much to do. Like it's yeah. really like one of those complex type of vibes. Yeah, absolutely. Because I felt like I could just hang out at that lobby bar and it'd be a time. It was a vibe. Yeah, and you know they had a uh, the one night they had a silent party. Mm-hmm. Um, so people were out there with their headphones and doing that. Then uh, also there's a piano bar there oh, yeah. that does live music mm-hmm. in the and evenings cigars. from and cigars, and they have specialty cocktails in the piano bar. Um, so if you're looking for a presentation type of drinks, they mm-hmm. have those there. And that piano bar is adult only, so you're not going to see any children in that space. So they have curated the property so well, so well. Even the sports bar was like, I really felt like I was at a bar. Yeah, like, the sports it, bar was dope. Like you know, usually the sports bar is just like, let's just go get a drink before we head back. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, we were vibing. Mm-hmm. It was nice. The drinks were good. The, they weren't serving us in just any old cups. Like yeah. they were serving in nice glassware. Yep. Um, yeah, the Ocean Out Pharaoh was a vibe. Yeah, it really was. I really think that they. Got a good thing going. Yeah. I just want them to get that food together a little bit. Just better. a little bit. Just a little bit. A little, 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 little bit. Little and if y'all add some <laughs> buffalo wings onto the room service menu, snap. I'm just saying. Don't say I ain't contenders. Don't say <laughs> American. We so American. I know, but, but you know what? When it comes to the room service, room I don't I need, need a whole thing. Wings. I just That's need it. some French some fries, me. buffalo wings at the room. Yeah, like I some do pub else. food. To pub I can food. do everything else. <laughs> I could make the fruit and uh, croissants work in the morning. Yeah, like, you know, I'm a simple girl. But wings at the end of the night, lit <laughs> every time. Perfect. Why, this is why sidebar. This is why the food at the strip club is the best. Because they know. They, they know. know. The fried shrimp. I don't care uh, what strip simple. club you go to. Simple. The fried shrimp is gonna be good. French fries, <laughs> wings, simple. <laughs> Love it. Um, what else about the property? I just feel like there was so much. So much. Do. Yeah. It's it's literally a huge They had a reading property. nook area. Yeah. Where they said, you know, which is also again these beautiful high ceilings is it, truly everything. Yeah. And this was just like an R and R area where people can go and read books. They said that past um People, past people who stayed would leave their book mm-hmm. for them to come Build back and collection. Yep, and come back and read it again, or for other people to enjoy. And they had a bar in there too. They did. Like, I don't know if y'all be drinking and reading because I don't read like that. 
That's kind of crazy not? combo, but go off. <laughs> <laughs> Get you a book and a cocktail. And it's all it takes you to take that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, lots of experiences. Yeah. And then also, there's a privileged, specific, dedicated area, dedicated pool bar. Yes. Because yep. there's a spe- ugh, specific is messing me up today. <laughs> there's a specific designated area on the beach for privilege. Yes. And that has beautiful white cabanas and it's luxury as well. But then there's a specific pool bar as well for privilege only and that also has cabanas that you can rent the ones on the beach are free and then um you also have your own particular designated snack bar at that space too so lots of perks for privilege Privilege this is probably the most worth it the most um perks for privilege i've seen yeah i agree absolutely um because i was maybe 60 dollars additional yeah. on um what the the rate is so totally worth it to have that personal butler mm-hmm. um that you're in communication with um and all of those extra perks and the top shelf liquor y'all come yeah, on top 60 dollars and mm-hmm. you you want to drink that mm-hmm. <laughs> that was your bottle price anyway, anyway okay <laughs> <laughs> um and then dang there was something else i was about to say about the privilege oh you can there's two options with the privilege. You can purchase a privilege room. Oh, yes. That has certain upgraded amenities and different um, aesthetics. Mm-hmm. Or you can add the privilege experience to your standard room offering. Yes, exactly. And so that Jasmine's mentioning that that additional price point per night to just elevate your experience. But you don't have to necessarily pay for a more grandiose um, room if you don't want to. Yeah, exactly. Because, again, those standard rooms are amazing. They are. They're yeah, great. And very spacious. Yeah. Um, Overall rating or review? Overall feel? I mean, you go first because you had a longer time there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, My overall review out of 10, say TFS overall out of 10, I probably am going to give it an eight because of everything there is to do and the quality of the privilege experience. But if it wasn't all those things, I probably would have given it a seven because I just wanted the food to be better. I agree. But eight, solid eight, solid eight, eight out of 10. I'm going to match that eight. I was thinking seven, five, eight. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say eight as well. Again, we are trying to debunk that resort isn't good and you guys gotta meet us somewhere because I can't <laughs> lie to my clients yes <laughs> so I'm gonna show them but they are gonna be like what's that <laughs> and I don't it was this thing they did where they put icing on the plates and I didn't like that so stop doing Jasmine that was very confused <laughs> stop doing that it was given like baby shower plate in this light blue and pink icing on our don't do that if y'all stop doing that and then <laughs> add some buffalo wings we all right. Not a ten, baby. <laughs> but an eight for because that seven was good. Yeah, it was like good. That, oh, the the food was okay. Like it was not bad. Correct. You know? Like it's we ate. Bad. Um, and we didn't have to go to a restaurant or anything. Like, yeah. Oh my god, we need to go eat. Like yeah, no, ate. it's like yeah. we were fine. Um, but again, I think people typically think the food sucks, and we want them to be like oh, mm-hmm. and not to be like mm, like yeah. so again the dinner. They are nailing the dinner. Oh, yeah. The hibachi was amazing. Yeah. It's the just Japanese you know, they, was great. They got some work to do during the day. Yeah. That's all. But the burger joint was good. Second day. I, not for me. I don't eat beef. So, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know, right. so again, I think that was a thing too for like people who don't eat all things, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and the Caribbean tends to be very heavy on beef and pork. Mm-hmm. So that just kind of comes with the territory. But a little more options, buffalo wings, and we good. <laughs> Keep plugging these buffalo wings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Favorite thing about Ocean El Faro? Uh, hmm. You go first. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> My favorite thing, I think, is... So if I, Let me just say what I was going to say initially. And then I decided <laughs> if I wanted to call it my favorite thing or not. I really enjoyed the piece of the beach. I didn't see a bunch of people running around it, a bunch of kids on it, a bunch of stuff happening on it. Um, I've seen prettier beaches in terms of just white sand and blue water, but it was just really peaceful on that beach. And the privileged area, those white cabanas with the white um, drapes were so nice. 
And even in the morning before we departed that day, we all went out there, not all, but several of us went out there and just kind of hung on the beach, got some content, listened yeah. to the ocean. There were, um, there's a cute little swing that has the Ocean El Faro sign that's out there on the beach. So yeah, I think there's a cool, some cool little R and R nooks. Yeah, out beach at was the great. property. That was a good morning. Yeah, so I'm like the beach. Yeah, the beach was the beach area was cool for me. I think for me, I'm going to go with the amenities, like mm -hmm. just overall, like the activities. Um, again, I, I had a client go right after and seeing how they treated her for her birthday, um, knowing how, you know, we, the privilege experience was the rooms were, you know, constantly refreshed. And um, I, I just think the amenities, even with the activities, I've never even seen all of these activities on mm -hmm. property. So mm -hmm. I'm like, they got archery, they got basketball, they got, you know, things that you don't usually see. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's something for everyone. You can't say that you're bored. Yeah. Especially if you're with your kids. Yeah. They can't, can't say, say they're bored. bored. Yeah. yeah. The water park. like, And that was a nice size water park. It, it wasn't was. just like a few little things. So. And then also they got daycare, y'all. Yeah, they got they got. You daycare. can drop your kid off at nine and pick them up at six. There we go. <laughs> so I don't know if I would trust nobody with my kids for a work shift, but well, I don't got no kids. Don't you have to do that for daycare anyway? That's daycare. That's true. So would you decide to trust them because they Dominican? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> well, that's why I got no kids because yeah, clearly. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm with dead. that being said, if you didn't know, but now you know today, Jasmine and I are both a part of Travel Goddess International, which is a full service travel agency that can assist with bringing your next Dominican experience to life. Period. <laughs> um, so whether you're looking to go to Ocean El Faro, Punta Cana, anywhere in DR, we got you covered. Uh, visit us at travelgoddessintl.com and we get you set. Period. Because you do need to go. It's a good, it was, oh, yeah. it's a good resort. It's you do it. need to go. All right, time for the travel deal of the week. I don't even know what I wrote, so I, I feel like we're <laughs> we both, both surprised. figuring this out together. Yeah, all right, I got it now. All right, five days uh -huh. and four nights in Belize. I feel like this is the first time we're featuring Belize. Yeah. And it is in late February with round-trip flights via American Airlines, two-hour layovers both ways from EWR, which is Newark, New Jersey, and staying at four-star hotel accommodations that we mentioned on the last episode, mm -hmm. the Mahogany Bay Beach Resort. Gorgeous. All of that for $8.90 a person, which is really good for Belize, y'all. Yeah, less than $900 for Belize. Yeah. I need to write down my 2024 travel goals. Yeah, you got to put them in. I need to speak them into existence. Like, you do. Is, no, Belize is dope. Am I today? I, I loved Belize. It was really great. Yeah, that's under 900 for Belize is mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now, of course, it's a premium exclusive deal, y'all. Rightfully so. Because we carrying it in 2024. So if you do need to be a premium member to access this. So $9 will get you this great $900 deal. <laughs> spend $9 and spend 900 <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal. Girl man. <laughs> Girl man. Girl man. Because by the time the trip come, you can spend another nine Seriously. on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> what you did, you the food, your drinks, and all of that stuff. Um, so if you're interested in this deal or any of our deals, be sure to visit our website, www.travelgoddessintl.com and explore. 2024 is here, y'all. Which is crazy. Get outside. Yeah, so I'm gonna be outside. I need Act to get like my, you know. my schedule together. Like your January is already stacked. Yeah, I know, but like, do I need to go to Belize next month? I mean um, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> is it brunch in Belize? Oh, now I don't have the answer, Sway. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But there's a lot to do there and there's a lot of cute little restaurants and there's some, you know, take the golf cart out and ride to some good little swim up beaches, but I gotta go and find out. I don't know if they got brunch. But nevertheless, <laughs> it's time to get brunchy. <laughs> Let's get brunchy. Um, so this week's brunch abroad is in Miami, because y'all know I love Miami. <gasps> love it there. Love Miami. We definitely going back to Miami this yes! year. Yes! I can't um, wait. El Chinito. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Mm -hmm. um, so El Chinito in Miami, it is a Chinese and Latin fusion restaurant, um, which I thought was super interesting for yes. brunch. So they had like pork belly Benedict and mm -hmm. um, like... 
I believe, like a Korean fried chicken and waffles. Uh, so it was Ooh. a very interesting take on I brunch. love Korean fried yeah, chicken. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, these dishes sound great. Um, but y'all know we here for the alcohol. The alcohol. <laughs> um, so $28 would get you a bottomless sangria bar where you can make your own sangria. They had like all these different fruits chopped up already okay. and different um, flavors you can add. I thought I never seen something like that. So that's cute. Uh, sangria bar, but it also came with bottomless mimosas and. Um, I think they have like sangria that they can just give you mm-hmm. if you don't want to participate in the bar. But yeah, twenty eight dollars bottomless sangria and mimosas. That works for me because I can give me some Korean fried chicken and waffles, mm-hmm. and then drink my life away. Yeah, and we love a good sangria balance. <laughs> you know, a wine, a little champagne. Yes, that is great. Yeah, El so, Chinito. Yeah, we gotta go. <sighs> I just want to be in Miami all the time. Mm-hmm. Especially and I'm so cold here in Philly. I just I know that there's so many other destinations around the country and the globe. I know. But I tell Miami, myself that it's every just so year. Good. Like I'm not gonna do Miami this year. And if I do, maybe once. And I lie. Why would you tell yourself every that? time? Last year I might have went to Miami four or five times. It's crazy. It's so good though. It's so good. Every I like time. Stop. I don't know. Y'all, stop more, like discrediting destinations yeah. or just telling yourself that you don't need to go there again because you've been there again. Because I had a different. friend that just said that same thing to me. And I'm just like, she's like, oh, I don't want to go to Mexico again. I'm just like, do you want to go anywhere? <laughs> just go. Just go. Can go to Mexico. Because you sound crazy. It's like experiences are a privilege. Absolutely. I don't care how you put it, say it, or where you're going. If you are fortunate enough to be able to get on a plane and do something different or change your scenery, mm-hmm. just do it. Yeah. I don't care if it's Miami or it's Maldives. It's an experience. Just you go. Can always get a different experience in Miami. Like <laughs> it's so much. Different. I've been there like ten times, yeah. and I cannot tell you the same thing. Different it's not hotels, the same. Different restaurants, like different things to do every single time. So I love it there. I can't get and enough. And if I book, if I see the thirty nine dollar flight, I'm booking. Oh, it. I'm going to. That's why I'm always there. It's so cheap. It's so cheap. Mexico and Miami. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. M squared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Last but not least. Question of the day. Mexico. I know, right? <laughs> Question of the day, Jazz. Fitting for our topic, Dominican Republic or Mexico? Surprisingly, guys, I'm going to go with DR. That is a shocker. Dang, I would have lost all my money on the card table. I'm going to go with DR. Um, I've only been twice. I want to go again. I like the vibe. I mean, Mexico's obviously great, but I think I've experienced it so many times that I'm like, I'm interested in DR now. Okay. Like, you know, um, so yeah. You wanted to see what they I want to see do. more, yeah. yeah. I'm intrigued. Yep. It's Mexico for me. Anyway. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I need a Mexican passport. I need dual citizenship. I need, I need it because I, <laughs> I love me some Mexico. And again, if you gonna tell me, oh, you going to Mexico again and did (laughs) (laughs) and will and shall I don't care Mexico yeah like I mean at this point I think it's like 13 times maybe more 13 oh yeah it's up there at one point how many times last year I feel like I went to Mexico like five times just Mexico five as well for me (laughs) so yeah, like between Mexico, I, like I was like trying to do my 2023 recap and it's been chaotic because here we are in 2024, still haven't done it. Um, <laughs> but I'm like Mexico, Miami and Chicago. They saw for you. sure saw me a lot in 23. And that's okay. And I'm, I love y'all, but like, let me give somebody else some. Like... <laughs> I'm going to switch it up this year. <laughs> we going to see because we, the we prices are, because the prices <laughs> We are going to see. But as of now, I'm like, I frequent, the, I went to those places at least three to four times mm-hmm. each. Crazy. But it was all good time. Great time. All good time. So which one would you guys choose? DR or Mexicana? Let us know in the comments. Drop your preference. And give us a tea. Maybe it's a reason why you prefer one or the other. Destination, um, resort, bar. Let us know. Exactly. <laughs> Um, I think that's our episode. Yes, Be Ocean sure. Pharaoh. Yeah, Ocean El Pharaoh. That was that was cute. cute I like gentleman. when we go outside and we get the tea and stuff. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the episode on YouTube. And of course, 
Listen wherever you get your podcasts. Yes. And follow us. Follow us at Travel Fly Sexy on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, if you have a product or service that you'd like to see featured on an upcoming episode of Travel Fly Sexy, shoot us an email, info at TravelFlySexy.com. Period. And leave us reviews. Yes. <laughs> don't forget about the reviews. Um, we love y'all feedback. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. And if there's anything you want to hear. Um, mm -hmm. Now that we're in the new year, we would love to, you know, cater episodes to you guys specifically. So if there's any resort, destination, um, or anything at all that you want us to talk about, Send us an email, drop it on our Instagram, leave it in a review. We love it. We love it here. We hope you do too. Happy New Year again. And please book your 2024 travels yes. if you haven't already. At least one. I challenge you this week. Just one. Book, book a flight. flight. Yes. <laughs> Just book one. Flight. It's going to help you. You're going to be so much more excited for the rest of the year. Don't come back to us next week without that flight book. Period. Well, no, still come back because some of you are not. Ha <laughs> Oh my gosh, until next time, guys. Bye.